Hallo, guten Tag, mein Name ist Ben und willkommen in Cottbus, Deutschland. Reckon Sie Deutsch? Nein. Uh, right, let's uh, have enough of my very, very, very bad German. And yeah, welcome everybody, we're here in Cottbus, Cottbus, uh, Germany. Uh, just kind of equidistant between Berlin, uh, Berlin, famous obviously for one of the amazing world marathon majors, Berlin Marathon, and uh, Dresden, which we'll be heading later on. But yeah, as you join us here, it's Friday, and if you saw the last video, we came over to Germany to have a hernia operation. Yeah, something I've been kind of dealing with uh, for the last um, however long, but yeah, came over here as a really good specialist we came over to see. And yeah, two days after the operation, we're out, we're walking, we're getting it done a little bit slowly. But feeling really good. Yeah, so we're just we're just gonna head on a little walk just now, have a chat about everything that's gone on, what's happening, and then yeah, just see what happens throughout the day. I don't know what we're gonna get to, but it's gonna be lots of fun. So sit back, relax, and thanks for tuning in for another video. Right. Bye. Let's get on with a run. Run. Walk. 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 <laughs> we'll be running again. Hey guys, um, in case you're wondering why, because those are people who are getting in touch with why we came to Germany. Well, there's a really good hernia specialist here, basically. It was quite hard to get a particular type of treatment I wanted, which was like a non-mesh hernia repair. Getting that done in the UK was pretty much impossible. Um, yeah, so most hernias are repaired by having like a piece of plastic mesh put inside to patch it up. Um, I didn't really fancy the idea of that. <laughs> Got this bit of metal in my leg, I don't want any more stuff inside me. So yeah, did a lot of research, found this uh, particular treatment on offer here, which is why we've traveled to Germany to uh, get it done in a way. It's been really good so far. As you can see, out and about walking, the whole sort of surgery. So I had a general anesthetic, really was not looking forward to that, really scared of that sort of thing, but it was actually fine. Of course it was fine. Why do we have these irrational things that it's not really fine? But yeah, we're all scared of different stuff. No harm in saying I was really scared of that, but they looked after us really, really well here. Yeah, really amazing, talented surgeon. Did all the repairs and stitched everything back up again. Yeah, not gonna lie, it was a little bit painful, but this whole sort of thing, and why I said in the last video, just really got to get this repaired so I can move on with my life. It's really interesting, I was in actually there with a couple of other people. One guy had had his hernia for 20 years living with it and it caused him no issues. But then it suddenly, it started to kick on and he had to then suddenly get here in a couple of weeks and get it repaired. And another guy I was in with, he'd had his hernia for about six weeks and just living in absolute agony for six weeks, rushed here to get it fixed. So it's like the true contrast. You can just live a normal life with a hernia, but there's always that chance that something could go wrong and yes, yeah, so I'd really recommend if anyone, so many people have got in touch and they've got hernias and they're really scared about it. And I was really scared about it as well. But I really recommend just doing a lot of research, doing some reading, having a chat to your doctor, seeing what options are out there. And yeah, just taking some steps to get it repaired because in the long term, when you're looking after your health, it's really got to be a good thing to do. Yeah, two days later, I'm in no pain, well, a little bit of pain, a little bit of discomfort, but haven't had any painkillers. I think I had two painkillers twice. Uh, once the day of the operation and one yesterday, and that was it. And now I feel like absolutely fine. I do feel like I could go for a run. Obviously I'm not going to take a lot of time to, uh, uh, yeah, probably about two weeks, 10 days, two weeks. I'm just doing lots of walking like we're doing now. And we'll get back to training, get back on with life and uh, everything we've got coming up for this year. So yeah, really, really exciting. So yeah guys, I guess my one takeaway message from this whole experience of being over here, and it might seem a little bit over the top to come all the way to Germany to seek out this kind of weird sort of, not weird, but more a specialist treatment is, yeah, we've all got stuff in our minds and nagging little things, little health issues, little niggles. Just get out there and try and speak to as many experts as you can. Don't take the first thing you read or you say as gospel and gold. Speak to a lot of different people. I spoke to three different surgeons in the UK and none of them I felt completely like compatible with about doing this and that's why we're now over here in Germany because I felt this was right for me. It might, might not be right for everybody but I felt it was a really good match for me and this guy dealt with loads of like pro athletes across all sorts of different sports 
and yeah we had really really good results really relieved now um no doubt about it i was very scared and worried over coming over here on the plane and yeah be very quiet on social media just kind of just keeping my head down and doing my own thing but now it's said done out walking absolutely fine feeling really good that we're just going to like sort of park that hopefully i'll be back running as soon as i can but i'm not obviously not going to rush we're just going to go down here so not going to rush anything just take as long as it takes and then we can start building up get the more training done get that 5k time down a little bit more and the 10ks and and whatever it is and yeah we've just booked an amazing trip away and take you guys along up into various mountains all around europe so i'll be coming up very shortly as well so loads of stuff for you guys right all these kids here making loads of noise having fun no care in the world and that's how exactly i'm feeling at the moment with all this weight that's come off me having got this fix right we're gonna go and get some breakfast in coppice and then we're gonna head down to dressing For a long time uh, viewers or subscribers of the channel will know that Sarah can never go anywhere without getting a magnet for our fridge, which we haven't been able to do for so long with the old coronavirus and lockdown and everything. So this is so nice. Sarah back choosing a magnet from Coppice. So yeah, what have you found, Sarah? Anything good? No, not very really nice. But not very nice. We just have to... She's a magnet snob, she really is. Right, Sarah, what have you gone for? <laughs> Show everybody nice. Coppus with all the nice <laughs> all the nice photos on there. Happy with that? Add it to the collection, put it on the fridge? Yeah. Well, it's been a long time, isn't it? Yeah, too long. Right, let's go and get some food. Right Sarah, cheers. Cheers. Having some fruit juices. Very nice. What's like yours? What's yours like, Sarah? It's quite thick just catching up with some coaching clients doing plans for next week now just going to chill here in the square and yeah then the day before we get, normally go home like check the news run avoid all news really when we travel because there's not much to really be happy about in the world at the moment 2020 and all so yeah just going to catch up with that see what's going on hopefully there'll be some positive news so we needed like a positivenews.com website so uh yeah some nice stuff to look at anyway so what are you up to? Nothing. Instagram, Strava, doing some stories. Oh, sweet potato chip. Oh, no, they're not for us. Well, our sweet potato chip will be here in a bit. Right, hope everything's going well back home. And yeah, we'll see you for some traveling down the road. Thank you very much. Safe travel. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. everything you've done. And we keep in touch and anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. safe travel. Bye -bye. Take care, bye. Right, let's get into the centre of... Your mask. Oh yeah, we're inside. Let's get into the centre of Dresden. So we come all the way to Germany, full of loads of trendy boutique hotels. And where does Sarah want to stay? No, she wants to stay at the Premier Inn. Oh, you can take us out of England, but you can never take England out of us. Is that a thing? Well, right, guys, checked into the hotel room, and what's the first thing we do when we get into the hotel room? Well, I'd normally go for a run, but I can't go for a run. So wah, wah. Sarah's going for her run. How far are you running, Sarah? Just four miles. Four miles, getting it done. And I think I'm just going to have a little snooze um, and catch up on some sleep. Because yeah, over the last few... Bye. Bye! Over the last few weeks and things, with all the worry and the stress and everything, with this whole like hernia stuff, just haven't really had much sleep. A lot of sleep this night, so feeling tired. But yeah, like I had a lovely sleep last night. Oh. That was amazing. Yeah, so we're gonna get some shut eye and then we're gonna head out for some lovely dinner. Who knows where? <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so we've come out to a restaurant called Hans in Gluck, which is apparently quite a famous, it's just a chain restaurant in Germany. Not sure what it means. Something about like being happy or something like that. But burger restaurant, so going all out. Oh. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jen. 
yeah so we're gonna get stuck in treat ourselves to a nice maybe like more unhealthy get some vegan burgers but well, they have got normal meat options here but how cool does this place look all around we're gonna get stuck into this and yeah what, what are you gonna have sarah probably just a vegan burger vegan burger probably just one vegan burger one two vegan burgers please right sarah here's to an amazing rest of 2020 cheers. can only get better from here yeah. cheers guys what's it taste like oh my god Taste it. Bit strong. Woo! It's not alcohol. Is, it's not what alcohol. is that? That is mad. Right, guys, so that lovely meal was actually, yeah. A bit better than expected. How yeah, nice was that? Really nice. How nice is pretty much all the food we've had really? in Germany. It's been amazing, actually. Yeah. Goes. Germany has massively. It's just a toilet. Do you need the toilet? Is it a toilet? Looks like a toilet. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. Right. That's enough chatting about toilets. Whoa. So that brings this uh, vlog to an end, I suppose. We've got to go back to London in the morning. Um, yeah, after a good night's sleep in the Premier Inn. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed following along today. Just been the most so odd, surreal trip. Loads of memories and yeah, Germany has just been fantastic. Surgeon, one of the most interesting, weird, not weird, just bizarre people we've ever met. Amazing hospitality from everybody here in Germany. So thank you so, so much. What an incredible nation of lovely people. Right, what's coming up next there on the channel? Getting back to running, lots of tips. Go and subscribe to Sarah's channel. <laughs> Is it good? Uh, is what good? Is your channel good? It's okay. Should people subscribe? Stop. Stop. No, Stop. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you very much for the support with the hats. I'm going to get fixed. Well, I am fixed. I'm going to get fit, healthy, and a lot stronger. Be back, getting it done. Loads more videos coming up in the very near future. So thanks for the support with the hats, the hoodies, the wraps, and everything. It really means the world to me and Sarah. And we'll see you in the next one.